Hello friends. In this video, we will solve a problem on how we can interface a memory chip with the 8085 microprocessor. The specifications of the memory chip will be given to us in the question and we will use those specifications to draw the circuit for it. So let's take a problem. <music> So our question is we have to interface an IC6264 whose specification or size is given to us that it's an 8 kilobyte memory chip having 8 register okay with the 8085 and we have to use the NAND gate decoder such that the starting address range assigned to the chip is 4000 H. Okay, so the specifications are given to us as 8 kilobyte memory chip. It is the size of the memory chip and uh, it is having into multiplied into 8 means one register memory location. It is storing 8 bytes. So 8 kilobyte it will be equal to 2 raised to the power 13 means 13 address lines are used to address these memory locations. Okay. So let's try to solve this problem. Now we have to interface the 8085 microprocessor with the memory chip. So 8085 we know that it has 16 address lines. From A0 to A15. These are the 16 address lines. So out of these 16 address lines, 13 address lines are used for the memory locations. And the starting address of the memory chip is given to us as 4000. So if we write these 16 address lines, what will be their value? So these are the 16 address lines. Now starting address is 4000 and this 4000 it is written H it means that it is in hexadecimal notation. So in hexadecimal notation one bit it is representing four bits. So for four we will have the 8421 notation so it will have 0 1 0 0. For 0 we will have the four bit 0 0 0 0. This 0 will also have the four zeros and this zero is also represented by four zeros. So this is in the decimal notation. So if we write the value here, it will be zero, one, zero, zero, and remaining all will be zero. So these four, they are for the fourth, then these four bits they are for zero then these four they are again zero and these last four they are also for zero so the starting address will be four zero 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 now it's written that this uh, ic it has the maximum location that is the size of this memory it is 8 kilobytes so 8 kilobytes it is going to have the addresses if we take then it will require 256 bytes okay 8 kilobytes its size is given that 8 kilobyte into 8 okay so it will have 
the addresses from 0, 0, 0, 0. If we start from 0, 0, then it will require 1, F, F, F. Okay. So these are the locations for this. Now, starting address has to be 4000, not 0000. 0, 0, 0. So, if we add 4000 in this, that means we have 5FFF. Okay. So, that means it will start from 4000 and it will go up till 5FFF. Okay. Let us again understand this that. We are given the size of the memory chip. It is 8 kilobyte into 8. So, it will, uh, if we start the address locations, it will require 0000, 0, 0, 0 till 1FFF. Okay. Means 256 memory locations it will require. So, this will be the address range. Now, starting address has to be 4000. So, 4000 plus this 1F. FF these 8 kilobyte memory so it will have 5 F F F so the address starting address will be 4000 and the end address will be 5 F F F so we will write it here for 5 we will have 0 1 0 1 okay and all the remaining will be FFF. So it will be 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we see the value of these uh, address lines, we will see that the address lines from A0 to A12, their value is changing from 0 to 1. Okay, in from 0 or 1, it can have any of the value. And the three address lines, A15, A14 and A13, their value is constant. Means that their value is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Because this is the starting address 4000 and this is the end address 5FFF. So the value of these three address lines, it's being constant 0, 1, 0. And the remaining 13 address lines, they can have any combination of 0 and one okay so these 13 address lines a0 to a12 they can be used for the addressing the memory locations and the remaining three lines a15 a14 and a13 they are used for the chip select signal that is to select the memory chip okay and their value is 0 1 0 so let's draw the circuit for it that how we can interface the ic and the microprocessor This is IC6264 and its specification is 8 kilo byte into 8, okay. Now 8085 it will have uh, the data bus, address bus, control bus will be there. So data bus it is used for the transfer of data between the microprocessor and the memory. Now 8085 it has the 8 bit data bus D0 to D7 starting from D0 till D7 8 bit data bus which is bidirectional so the data it can be written into the uh, memory chip and it can also be write uh, read from the memory chip okay so read and write of the data byte can be done with the help of this data bus okay then we will have the address bus now address bus it is 16 lines are there so A0 to A12, these three, 13 address lines, they are used for addressing the memory locations. So we will have A0 to A12. A0, A1, A2, A3 till A12. These will be used for addressing the memory locations. Then we will have A13, A14 and A15.
Now these three address lines, they has to be connected in such a way that they will form the chip select signal and chip select signal it is active low so the output we should get here it is zero value we want okay now in the question it is given that we have to use a NAND gate decoder okay so here we will have a NAND gate and the output of this NAND gate it is connected to the chip select signal so the value it has to be zero because chip select signal will be enabled when its value is zero and A15, 14, 13 these address lines they have the value 0, 1, 0 so the NAND gate the input of this NAND gate it has to be 1 then only the output will be 0 so this A15 it was 0 so we are connecting an inverter here so that its output is 1. Here we have 1 so this line is directly connected. Then A13 at 0 so we will have to connect an inverter here. So this 0 it is converted into 1. This 1 is available 0 is converted into 1. So the three inputs they will generate the output through the NAND gate as 0 and when this address will be given to the uh, IC then this IC will be enabled it will be selected now the remaining signals we have the because uh, we are interfacing a memory chip with the microprocessor so it will use the two signals MEMR bar and MEMW MEMR for the memory read operation and MEMW for the memory write operation and in response to this the ch memory chip it will have for read it will have output enable and for write it will have write enable okay and we have another uh, for this IC 6264 we have another a chip select signal which is CS2 and to this chip select signal the plus 5 volt page uh, is connected to it okay it's the specification or it's the circuit of this ic that it has a two uh, chip select lines so one chip select lines we have connected with the address lines of 8085 and another chip select line it is always connected to the plus 5 volt so always one is available or always it is connected now this chip select signal uh, this two it is an active high so it is connected to one so it is always uh, enabled and this will be enabled when we will get the input as 0, 1, 0 at the three address lines. So this is how the IC6264 it is interfaced with the 8085 microprocessor. So we have solved this problem okay and we have the address given to us the starting address was given so we have decided the total memory locations that is uh, the total memory address locations are 1f f f and we have uh, because the starting address is 4000 so end address will be 5f f f okay and through this we have decided that which lines are to be used for addressing the memory locations and which lines are to be used for uh, the chip select signal so i hope that this problem is clear to you and in future you can solve the problems which are uh, like this or related to this thank you